Hey everybody, this is Andrew with RushTechSupport.com. I run the tech department here. Um, a few days ago, Oracle released a new version of Java. And whenever there's a new release, we get a lot of customers asking about what Java is and what it does and if they need it. I'm going to try to explain it in simple terms so anybody can get a general understanding of what Java is. Uh, first off, it's a programming language that developers use to make programs and applications. Uh, you can think of a program like a book. And as an author, the first thing you need to do is decide what language you're going to write the book in. Java is just another language to write the book in. And when you install Java on your computer, it's basically teaching the computer how to understand that language. And then when you update Java, it's kind of like teaching the computer new words in that language and updating security flaws as well. Java is so widely used online that it's almost impossible to get by without it, especially if you um, play games or anything like that. But you don't technically need it. Personally, I'd recommend having it and keeping it up to date. So when you do end up needing it, you already have it and you know that there aren't any security flaws and you won't be clicking on a uh, fake pop-up. So when we do our tune-ups here at Rush Tech Support, we always make sure that your Java is up to date for security purposes and so it's running at its full potential. Um, when you do update Java, I wouldn't really recommend clicking on any pop-ups. Um, instead, I'd recommend opening up an internet browser. I don't usually recommend using Internet Explorer, but since a lot of our customers use it, I'm just going to do it for um, for that example purpose. But you want to go to java.com slash verify, and that way you know you're on java.com, and it's not a fake website that just tries to look like Java and gets you to agree to download a virus on your computer. So we're going to update it from here. Um, agree and start free download. Java's free. There's been some malicious ones that want to charge you money for it. Um, that's not the case. Java's completely free. Uh, you'd hit run. It's going to start installing it. All right, another problem that I see happen a lot on customers' computers is they ask, where did this ask toolbar come from? Why did my homepage get changed to ask.com? And unfortunately, Java is a culprit of this. Millions of other programs do it too. But uh, they have an affiliate with Ask. So when you're installing it, and this goes for really any program, you never want to do Express or Quick Install. You always want to do Custom. Java's a little more upfront with it. See, it says right here, offer to install the search app by Ask. Most people, when they install programs, next, 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 next. Where did it come from? Well, you didn't uncheck add search app by ask. All right, another um, important thing to do when you're installing Java, you see it says your machine's at risk for serious security vulnerabilities. It's highly recommended that you promptly uninstall out of date versions. So we want to do that as well when we're updating. So you see on this, I've got Java 7 update 67. Uh, it's uninstalled it for us. Great, we've successfully installed Java, wonderful. And then it's going to take us back to java.com verify. We're going to make sure that we have the most up-to-date version on our computer. So right here, it's detecting it. It's running it. Congratulations, you have the recommended Java version installed. We know it's from java.com, so we know that this is real. So basically, that's a wrap-up of what Java is and how to go about installing it. Remember, you never want to click on a pop-up that says your Java is out of date, your Flash player is out of date, anything like that. You never want to click on those. Go to the source, make sure you're at actually java.com slash verify was the website that we went to. Uninstalled the old version, got the most up-to-date version on there. We don't have anything to worry about now. And the other thing to be wary of is when you're installing programs, don't just hit next, 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 next. Make sure that you don't have anything checked to install third-party applications on the computer because that's how a lot of them get on there. And that wraps up our tutorial of Java for the computer illiterate. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any requests for other explanation videos or how-tos, just write them in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and keep in contact with us. Also, if you go to www.rushtechsupport.com and mention this video, we'll give you a $25 discount off a yearly plan for new customers. And I hope this has been helpful. All right.